years ago, I, I remember I came I was right here at this place and I made a prayer right here at this place and my prayer to God was I want to be one of the female medical doctors in the house of St. John's Apostolic Church of the whole world that was uh, I think about 10 years ago and I say to God if you can make it happen I will come back right at this place and I will give my testimony and I am so glad that this is the day that the Lord has made that we shall be glad and rejoice in it. So today I am standing here because God answered that prayer. Hallelujah! 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 So, so many years ago I was sister Salome Masikinye. And today I'm proud to say I am Dr. Salome Masikini. Hallelujah. 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 I didn't plan on preaching today. But I was inspired by the Sunday school group. I had so many of them And so something within me, something in my spirit, just moved me to just come and stand in front of me. So I had to stand to just encourage them and show them that is this is the testimony. I just came to just show them that it's not just by words. But it can truly come to pass. So I remember for me, one of the Bible verses, I would ask uh, the reader to open Habakkuk 2. Okay, thank you. So the reason why I love this verse, Habakkuk 2, verse 2, is because I took it very literal. So what it says is you have to write your vision down and make it plain. And then he who reads it will run it and it shall come to pass at the appointed time. So this happened to me as well. So I remember writing my vision down. After just saying it, I also wrote it down. We often hear in the Bible the word of God says it is written. So today I want to encourage you there is power in words. I want to encourage the parents today. I want to start by encouraging the parents and that when we often hear our kids and our children saying our dreams to us, let us encourage them. Let us nurture their dreams. I'm saying so because 
I did, I did also have parents who encouraged and nurtured my dreams. Nekuti ndi nawapele kuwa wakandi kuru zira, wakandi pa shukwani siro shukuti shujalaida shuitike. Somewhere, um, first were my biological parents. Wapele kiwangu we kundi bereka. And some of them were just parents from this congregation. Nevangu wapele kiwe mucheche edu. They stood as mother figures and father figures for me. Wakamira sana maina na baba pandiri. Yes, so, um... I had a dream and I wanted to become a doctor. I wrote it down and I would say it very often. And so they would encourage me. They would even be calling me nicknames at home. And so I encourage everyone today and especially parents that be mindful of the kind of nicknames you give to your children. Because names are very powerful. They are seeds. So when you call your children or uh, people around you bad names, you're planting bad seeds in them. And if you call them good names, you're planting good seeds in them. So from today, I encourage our parents. So what you have to do, this is the recipe for success that I'm now giving you. Because I have a testimony, I've tried and tasted the recipe. So it's not enough for you to just think. First is you need to program your mindset to think in a certain way. But it doesn't end there. Now you have to speak it into existence. Because even in the Bible from the book of Genesis, it said, God said, Let there be light. And there was light. So whatever you want to see in your life, you have to say it. I'll give you an example of my uh, my own story. We had come here for a three-day prayer and fasting for the youth. And I was given an opportunity to preach. And I think I was at that time in Form 3. And then I just decided to say, let me just tell everyone what my dream is. And that is crazy faith. And they come back to the <laughs> I remember I was feeling so embarrassed and I was like, what are people going to think about me? But at that time now it's making sense because I believe it was the Holy Spirit who was in control at the time. So that's when I made the prayer that God, please do not embarrass me. If, if truly this is your will, please make it come to pass. And I will come here right at this place and I will give my testimony. And I can say that I have done a defeating testimony and given the testimony just as I have promised God. So now looking back, it's just showing the power of words. And then that's when I, uh, now I can now understand that words are powerful. So I went to China and did my studies for eight years. 
age. <laughs> it was not an easy journey. Be in the moment and go through the process. So, um, at the time, I was learning that sometimes it's okay to fail. And then you have to pick yourself up and get up and move on. So, and in times where I would fail, where I felt like quitting, I would remind myself of the same prayer that I made. And so uh, I am just glad that I went through the process and I learned what I had to learn and I produced the fruits that I needed to produce.